everybody. Welcome to Irina's Art Studio. It's almost Rosh Hashanah and we're going to paint some pomegranate greeting cards just in time for the holiday. It's customary to have pomegranate on a Rosh Hashanah holiday table because it symbolizes fruitfulness, health, even wisdom. It's um, The legend says that Solomon's crown, that magic crown that if somebody would wear it, will become instantly a very wise person. That crown was fashioned after the crown um, of the pomegranate. We are going to have four different cards and start with this one. For this card, we are going to use a watercolor set. This is a very inexpensive student grade watercolor set by Yarka. I'm gonna have a Sharpie a pencil, any pencil will do, um, an eraser. We will need the scissors and the ruler. Maybe we will use some salt, just regular salt, um, but make sure that it was in the closed container, not in the open um, dish on the counter, because when the salt sits outside open, it's not gonna work for you very well. We need some water and we need some paper. So I'm using this paper here. This is nine by 12 inches, Canson XL watercolor. You can also use mixed media for this particular project. So I'm gonna take one page out of the that. I'm going to measure and and use my scissors and cut the, um, the page in half and I'm gonna score it right here. I place my ruler on the line and use the back side of the scissors blade and score it like this and so easy to fold it in half. Now I'm going to draw my character. I want it to be a California character, so we have a lot of sun and I wanted it, uh, the pomegranate to have sunglasses on. The basic shape of the pomegranate is round. It's a circle, so I'm going to draw my circle first and I want to kind of show myself. I'm going to start my circle here and maybe end it right here. Try not to press on the pencil too much because if you press on the pencil you're going to groove the paper. It's going to be hard to erase the line if you don't like it and the watercolor is going to collect in the grooves which is not good either. So this is my basic shape and now I'm going, let, let's look at the pomegranate. So it, it has the crown here and usually there are six of those maybe draw three here three the ones that are visible and the other two maybe they here so we don't see the whole thing just a little bit and his eyes are going to be here I'm gonna leave a little bit of white here. Okay, so suggest so the nose and the smile. Whatever uh, marker you're using for outlining, it has to be a bleed proof marker. So when we start doing watercolor on top, it's not gonna bleed. So I'm not gonna draw this line here because basically there's no line, right? Uh, 
our outline is ready. Now we need to erase all the pencil lines. Let's take a look if we missed anything. Um, I'm going to make little marks here for the frame of the glasses just to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's give him fashionable shades. I'm going to open my card so it will lay flat. So I will need my colors here. This is my inspiration. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to probably use the salt and I need some water. And you need to have a couple of paper towels or maybe clean rugs. You will need one here next to your water. And then one just in case if you need to clean something from your artwork. Watercolor painting is going from light to dark, so we're going to start with the lighter colors first. I'm going to shade a little bit of bluish red up here and down here, just, um, just to suggest some space. I like to work wet on wet, so I'm going to wet the area only where I want my color to go first. And taking some blue and very, very lightly. I don't really want it to be a dark color here. Very lightly suggest some um, suggest some sky. Try to avoid the feet and the legs. Just add some water and add some blue here. This will suggest the, um, the shadow and I'm gonna add a little bit of a purple to this shadow to make it a little bit darker okay so this will do so make sure when you do that you don't want the water to get into the feet I'm going to use some yellow and I would like to use a little bit of green, but I don't have the green that I like. Like this green here is very, it's like a yellow green, right? So the greens that I have in my palette are pretty dark. I'm going to mix my, uh, my light green. And as a palette, you can just use a plastic lid from, um, from a container. So I'm adding a little bit of green and I'm adding a little bit of yellow. A good idea will be to try the color on a scratch paper. And it's a good idea to have a scratch paper the same quality as your card paper. The color will look a little bit different on different kinds of paper. So if we like the, um, the color, then we can Go ahead and and add this color to the um, shade. So I have two reds here, a brighter red, and I have um, a little cooler red. I like to um, to paint wet on wet, so I'm going to wet the area. Um, I'm, I'm going to avoid the glasses as much as I can and avoid the, the mouth because I want the mouth to be the brightest color. But I'm going to wet the rest of the pomegranate. Just add some water there. You don't want, you want it to be shiny wet, but you don't really want it puddles. So when, when you have enough water, then you can see how the, the paint starts to glide over the water. You don't really have to, um, to put too much effort to drag the paint over the, the paper because it's gliding on the water here. So I'm adding my light color and I'm actually going to add a little bit of a darker color and my um, 
my cooler red and I'm going to add a little bit of a purple to it. Just suggest some shadow. So I'm adding shadow on the sides, under the mouth, and a little bit under the nose. The rest can be lighter, and again, I'm trying not to get my reds into glasses area. I want to have a little bit of color variation going, so I'm taking my green again and I'm charging the, the wet mixture with a little bit of green and don't overdo it because you don't want it to become muddy. But just a couple of dots of green will create and maybe even, even yellow. They will create a little variation so that will be cool and also the mouth the mouth i would like to be brighter so i'm using my bright red i can even add a little bit of a yellow to it so it will be almost orange and i don't want it to touch the rest of the reds because I don't want the colors to bleed and mix together. So, if that happens, if they start bleeding it into each other, you can clean your brush, dry it on the paper towel, and touch where you want to clean. Just like that. Like I want a little bit lighter area on the nose and I'm cleaning my brush, drying it on the paper towel and then just wiping it just like that. And to add a little bit more texture I can have a little bit of salt and make sure that your salt was in the closed container. You don't want it to be sitting on the counter open. So just a little bit of salt. Take a pinch and put the salt on top of the um, wet areas. If the areas are already dry, it's not gonna work. So I have to find a nice spot between too wet and absolutely dry. And I'm going to mix my green again. and use this mixture to paint the feet and the legs and the arms and the hands. So now, um, now our picture is dry and it has some texture that uh, salt created. If we had a little bit more pigment on the painting, the texture will be more prominent. So I'm going to remove the remaining salt. So you can use your finger or you can use a paper towel. Make sure that the painting is completely dry. Now your painting is ready and here's your greeting card. You can write your sentiment in there and wish Shana Tola. If this was just an outlined fun character, I'm going to have um, something like this, which is a print technique. So we're going to do some printing and we're going to do some resist technique with some embellishment and also watercolor here and watercolor or acrylics here and then more realistic painting of pomegranates and that will be the fourth project 
So stay tuned and until next time, bye-bye.